what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i am back with another zer video and today's date is the 9th of february 2018 and we're going to start off with destiny 1 and zer is located within the reef so let's see what he has this week i'm still waiting for him to bring the zen meteor and he, he hasn't brought it Okay, so we've got a legacy engram costing 29 strange coins. Remember, people, this will only give you that year one gear. So don't buy this thinking you're going to get anything from year two because that is not going to happen. For the Titan, we have the Eternal Warrior uh, offering 350 defense, uh, dropping our intellect discipline, and will cost you 13 strange coin. Gain unstoppable for Fist of Havoc or Fist of Panic. For the Hunter, we have the Crest of Alpha Lupi, again, 350 defense and 13 strange coins. Offering a maximum of one, two, three intellect. Supers generate an extra orb, revive, and be revived faster. For the warlock, we have the transverse steps. Again, 350 defense, 13 strange coins. Offering intellect strength, faster movement speed while crouching, and more pickups automatically reload that weapon type. And weapon of the week, we have the no land behind. My favorite weapon ever. I so wish this came to D2. I mean, that literally. It may actually start playing Destiny 2 again just to run around the Crucible with it. That'd be incredible. Ain't ever going to happen though. And even if it did, it would be a power weapon. And that just wouldn't make sense to me. But yeah. Now this will cost you 23 strange coins. Exotic weapon bundles this week. We have the Infective and Iconoclast. I think that says. And we also have the Nemesis Star and Meteorite. So yes. And we also have these goodies right here. So what we're going to do now guys is we're going to switch to D2. Okay, people, so we are on D2 and Zer is located on IO within the Giant Scar area. Let me just double check this is IO. Uh, where does it say? It is IO right there. So, yeah, uh, Giant Scar area and he's in this dark ass cave right here. So, let's see what he has this week. Oh, damn. We have the Jade Rabbit. Okay, so let's start with the Raiden Flux, an amazing chest piece for the Hunter. If you're a fan of the Arc Strider, this thing is just absolutely incredible. It will drop with 3 or 5 defense and will cost you 23 legendary shards. Quick successive attacks with the Arc Staff increase its damage output and duration. And it's just, it's, it's, it's by far my favorite, uh, probably actually my favorite exotic for the Hunter. It really is. Okay, for the Titan, we have the Synth Forceps, which were great within Iron Banner last week, they really were. A 3 or 5 defense, uh, 23 legendary shards, bionic enhancements, increased melee lunge range, improved melee damage when surrounded, absolutely epic. And then we have the Karnstein armlets for the Warlock, 3 or 5 defense, 23 legendary shards, vampire's caress, melee attacks grant increased resilience and mobility, and they highlight injured enemies, melee kills greatly restore health. Weapon of the week, we have the Jade Rabbit, the legendary Destiny 1. Well, I say legendary weapon, but you know what I mean. The old school classic weapon, the Jade Rabbit. Uh, this will cost you 29 legendary shards. We also have people with a free of coins, which I still ain't tested yet, because I can't bring myself around to actually playing Destiny for more than 10 minutes at the moment. So yeah, uh, but I will test them out if they have really changed like Bungie said they did uh, and we also have a fated engram which is supposed to give you well it will give you an exotic you don't already own but yep guys that is it that's there's a little location for both d1 and d2 if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really does help me out thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people i will see you on the next one